National Five Biologists, let's do this past paper question together. So this one says, penicillin was the first antibiotic used to treat bacterial infections. Bacteria have been genetically engineered to produce large quantities of penicillin. The diagram, ra diagram represents some of the stages of this process. Okay, so we've got all these stages here. Using information from the diagram, complete the table. So what we have to do is we have to put the letter next to the structure and then find the structure for letter D. So the bacterial cell, well, the bacterial cell, we know bacterial cells contain plasmids, which are circular pieces of DNA. So that should hopefully point us to the bacterial cell being the letter E. The gene for penicillin. Now we find the required gene, which is penicillin here, we find that on the source chromosome within the original cell. Okay, and that's right here. Okay, so the this is the source chromosome here. So the gene is going to be C here. Okay, this the gene is this dark area here, and that gets pointed to by letter C. And then D, what is D going to be? Well, D is a combination of the gene, which has been inserted into the plasmid, and we call that a modified plasmid. Okay, because it's been genetically modified. Describe the next stage in the production of um, penicillin. The next thing we're going to do now that we've got a modified plasmid is we're going to insert that modified plasmid into a bacterial, and this next word is a key word, host cell. Okay, you have to say bacterial host cell. You can't say insert the modified plasmid into uh, the same bacterial cell or the original one. You have to say bacterial host cell, ideally. Okay, folks, hope that helps. I'll see you in the next one.